does look a little bit like baby poop or <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to my channel for those of you that don't know my name is Hannah I am a yoga teacher a nutrition coach and I also work at a farm animal sanctuary so today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and quick cream of mushroom soup um, we're moving into fall, it's getting cooler, so I have a whole lot of like very warm um, soup, chili, recipes like that, so I'm going to start sharing those with you as we move into winter. Um, so like I said, today we're doing cream of mushroom soup. So the really cool thing about this recipe is the very first year that I was vegan, um, me and my parents were going to New York as we usually did for Thanksgiving to visit the rest of our family and this was actually what I made for myself that year because no one in my family was going to you know give me anything vegan or like accommodate me or be supportive uh, so now actually me and my parents we just stay home because obviously traveling on Thanksgiving is a nightmare so we just stay home and they actually let me make a completely vegan Thanksgiving dinner for them but like I said the very first year that I was vegan this soup got me through it and it was really delicious so I'm gonna show you how to make it today so obviously the first thing that you need are some mushrooms and you can use a variety of mushrooms. You don't have to use just one kind. That's just what I have today. So today I have these baby bella mushrooms, which I have already washed and dried. Um, but it's also good if you mix in like some white button mushrooms, um, maybe even some lobster mushroom or, you know, like whatever you can find. There's just so many different varieties. So yeah you can you can just mix a whole bunch of them together so what we need to do is chop these mushrooms because I have so many and I'm actually gonna make a pretty big pot of soup so that I can like freeze some for later I'm gonna use my food processor just to chop them because you do want them chopped pretty finely but if you want to chop them by hand you absolutely can I just don't have time for that <laughs> I'm also going to add pretty much an entire white or you can use a yellow onion as well it works just as good with a yellow onion and oops I'm also going to I've roughly chopped about five or six cloves of garlic you can add more or less if you've been watching any of my recipe videos before this one you know that I'm not a huge fan of like measuring everything out exact so it's one of those things where you know hopefully you know how much garlic you like and you can just make it to your taste so that's gonna go into the food processor and I'm gonna add mushrooms obviously and I'm just going to chop these Maybe I overstuffed this a little bit. Maybe I'll take some out. <laughs> Ryan Little. All right, so as you can see, this is pretty well chopped. There are some larger pieces left, but that's okay um, for now because they're actually gonna get blended again later in another step that you will see. So now we're gonna move over to our pan. So on medium heat, in the same pot that you're going to make your soup, because I don't like to waste a lot of, or make a lot of dirty dishes, I am just going to add about three quarter cup of Miyoko's butter, which is the best vegan butter in my opinion. Um, this is gonna be a lot of soup, so it's really not, that much butter. And then we're gonna add our mushroom mixture to the pot. And 
things. We want to kind of brown this up, I guess. I don't know if it's if it's really browning it, but you want to simmer it for a little bit. good so we're gonna come we're gonna turn the heat off and go back over to the counter where I will show okay, you so that. now that our mushroom mixture has just been simmering with the butter on the stove for a little bit I'm gonna put the majority of it into my Vitamix now this just depends on how smooth you want it to be if you like a really smooth soup put all of it in if you like it to have a little bit of texture then I would say, you know, just put in maybe like three quarters of it and leave a quarter in the pan. So that's what I'm gonna do. And into the Vitamix with this mushroom mixture, I'm gonna add uh, some veggie stock. So this is some veggie stock that I have made, but you can use whatever kind you want doesn't matter. I really also like the Better Than Bouillon brand if you've ever used that. So that's going to go in here and I'm just going to blend it on high for a little bit until it's super duper smooth. Okay, great. So also, if you don't have a Vitamix, you can use a regular blender or a food processor. You may have to blend it longer than I did, but yeah, the Vitamix is great. So now this is going to go back into the pot and back on the stove for the rest of the cooking instructions. So now we want this on medium low heat and I'm just going to give it a nice stir and we're going to need to add something to give it a little bit more creaminess. So I am going to grab some oat milk. Just remember to use the unsweetened plant milk because I have made the mistake of using a vanilla sweet plant milk in a savory recipe and it's awful. All right, in goes all of the oat milk. We're gonna let that heat up. So I am going to add some salt. Some black pepper. A lot of black pepper. I like pepper. Some nutritional yeast. If you like a little bit of a kick, I like to add cayenne pepper, but that is of course, I mean, all of this stuff is of course optional. apple cider vinegar, just a dash. And I always add miso to like all my savory soups. It adds a really nice flavor. turn the heat up a little bit so that all of these flavors can cook in together. I also find 
find that anytime I'm making something savory or salty, it's always good to add a little bit of something sweet to balance it out. So I am just gonna add a teeny bit of brown sugar, maybe like a couple tablespoons. Not much. That's definitely like a tablespoon and a half. Something like that. Just a little bit. So I'm just gonna let this simmer for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Our soup has been simmering for a bit. Uh, so it's thickened up. I meant to uh, mention before that you want to simmer it uncovered so that it can thicken up more. And so I've turned the heat off and I'm just going to put some in a bowl, in a really pretty bowl right here. And there you have it everybody. It's really, really good with garlic bread dipped in it or you could make some garlic croutons to put on top. Um, it's a really nice winter soup and it tastes pretty impressive even if you give it to non-vegans. So I definitely recommend it. If you do try out this recipe, let me know down below in the comments. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.